My dumbest thing that I've ever done with money was actually my daughter's third birthday party. The theme? Frozen. I love to hate Frozen. I really do. It was good the first time I watched it, but 3,727 times later, I'm kind of tired of it. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, no, we need to let it go. Melina's party was actually probably the one of the first Frozen parties. The movie had just come out. And I know you're thinking, how could a birthday party be the dumbest thing you ever spent money on? Sit back, listen, you're about to have a heart attack on my behalf. At the time of Melina's third birthday, we were living in a super nice area outside, just outside Mexico City. And Melina was going to a Montessori school right next to our house. Not because I was, you know, pro Montessori or against Montessori or anything, but because it was right next to my house. And in Mexico City, with the number of people that are there, you don't want to be traveling far. So she, all the kids that went to the school were like super, like mega wealthy. Her birthday is at the beginning of the school year. And as a result, we had only been invited to one other birthday party, so I didn't know. The first birthday party she was invited to was actually put on by a woman who was a party planner for a living. I didn't realize that at the time, but um, yeah, she set the bar super, super high. And I later found out this is pretty much your typical Mexican birthday party, but I felt compelled to keep up that standard. So what I normally would have done was have, you know, a cute little house party and put food out and put balloons and decorate a little bit and invite everybody over to the house, let the kids play, maybe rent a bouncy castle for my backyard. But unfortunately, the place we lived in Mexico and a lot of, I got a bug in my hair. Oh, ugh. in our house in Mexico and like in a lot of places in Mexico, there wasn't a ton of parking. So inviting all the kids from her class over would have been like, 25 cars extra and didn't have parking for 25 extra cars. So they have these awesome places that are designed for parties and they have, you know, kids parties, junior high school age parties, you know, they're all themes. And so we decided to pick one of those. The place we picked had this super great little play area with like four trampolines and ball pits and climbing and everything. And it was, it was geared towards three to five year olds or two to five year olds, I would say, depending on what part of the play area you were in. And then it had this huge room that um, was for serving food. So once we decided to go on full Mexican style, that meant we were going to have to have an open bar with a bartender. We would have to have it catered, waiters, a 20 minute frozen show with like 10 actors these adorable little invitations that were boxes that opened up, a tiered birthday cake with a special allergen free cake on the side for Melina because she was allergic to everything when she was a baby. Um, she's grown out of it, thank God. But that's a whole story in itself. Candy bar with color coordinated candies that match the party. Backdrops behind the tables because you couldn't hang anything to the walls. A balloon guy that came and filled up I think it was like 10,000 balloons, honestly. I, it was more balloons than I had ever seen in my life. Um, they came and blew up the balloons at the party and decorated around the party with all the balloons. A huge pinata jammed packed with American candies because I was not putting chili powdered covered mango candies in in my daughter's pinata because ew. Not to judge people that like that, but ew. Okay, I'm a little judgy. It's gross. I don't want my candy to be salty and spicy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Pretty much everything I could buy on Etsy. Yeah. I think I might have actually bought out Etsy. I bet you're wondering how much that party actually set, set us back. I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you. Okay, I'm a lot embarrassed to tell you. I don't know that I can actually tell you. How about I just post the number right here? Yeah, it was that big. Dumbest thing I ever spent my money on dumbest but I learned my lesson about not letting other people force me into what's normal for them into what I can do so now when Melina wants to have her quinceanera well guess what I'm gonna show her a video of her third birthday and say sorry honey you've already had it might do that for her wedding too
go pick your jaw up off the floor and be happy that the financial mistakes you've made in your life are nowhere near as bad as mine. So if you liked this video, go ahead and click the like button and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Come on people, subscribe, I'm awesome. I post twice weekly and I will see you next time. See ya.